What's up guys? AdventureDex here from AdventureDexOnline.com I get a lot of requests from you guys asking me to make easy DIY videos that you can do in your garage and I have one here for you today. In this video, we're going to be checking out this front and rear set of wild boar grab handles. You can get them for about $60, I'll put the link in the description. This is an installation that you can do at home in your garage with some basic tools. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so this is the front and rear set of the grab handles that I got. They're pretty cool, they come in red and black. Obviously I got the red version. And this is a 3 4 inch solid steel uh, bars. And then obviously they have this rubberized uh, grip. And um, so you're probably asking what I'm going to do with the paracord. I'm going to keep my paracord grab handles now, but I'm just going to shift them all back. I really like those. I think the paracord have a lot more functionality because obviously not only do they serve as grab handles, but they also serve as paracord if you need it in an emergency. But these obviously, because I've lifted the Jeep, are going to be a lot more useful for not only myself, but other people that I have who have trouble getting in and out of the Jeep now. And it's probably only going to get worse when I put the tires on. So we're going to try these out. Um, I know you guys are going to be interested in this. I'm gonna, Like I said, I'm going to link it in the description. And so without further ado, let's get started. Ten millimeter, baby. Starting with the rear, the first thing we're going to do is remove these ten, these two ten millimeter bolts, so we can attach our new grab handles. Next, we're going to take the rear grab handles with the hardware provided. You can tighten that using a number five hex bit or an Allen key. You now gotta repeat the step on the next side. And just like that, the rear grab handles are installed. Let's go on to the front. All right guys, so we're on to the front now. You're gonna need three things. You're gonna want the grab handle itself and you wanna make sure you get the one that's orientated for the driver or the passenger side. The way you know is that these end dents, you want them facing the opposite side. So this is the driver, the screw is gonna go in this way and it's gonna countersink into this hole. You also wanna get this long stud and this short stud, which are gonna give it space from the side and from the top. I'm gonna to show you which bolts to use, so let's get started. You're gonna undo the top hole using a 13 millimeter socket. You're also going to remove the bolt on the left hand side of the sun visor with the 13 millimeter. Once you've taken out the OEM bolts, you're going to grab the hardware that came with the kit. You're going to notice that there's two long ones and two shorter ones. You're going to put one long one and one shorter one to the side, that's for the passenger side grab handle. You're going to grab the longer bolt, which is going to go with the longer stud. And this is going to be used for the side. So this is indented. You're going to put the screw in the indentation so that it's flush. And you're going to put this stud there to, to give that the correct amount of room. And then the same thing with the top. And the trick here is to try and do them at the same time. because there's a slight angle you can see to get the correct alignment. You're gonna also do this with the number five hex bit. And so I'm gonna show you how it's done. Two hours later. Now we're going to repeat that process on the next side. So the easiest way i found to do this is if you start with the side and get that, it's going to bring the handle over to the outside and so when you do the one at the top, it's going to be a little bit more lined up. 
if you try and do them the top first, you're gonna struggle to do this side. So I recommend doing this one first and then going after the top one. Once you get that firm, you don't need to tighten it too much. You still want it to have some wiggle room so that you can work with the top one. Now I'm gonna grab the top one, put the screw through first, through the bar, and then up into the hole. I'm really happy with the way this installation turned out guys. These grab handles are great and they're really gonna make it easy to get in and out of the Jeep now that it's lifted. Leave a suggestion on what product you want me to review and install next. If you enjoyed this video, please leave that thumbs up rating and if you have any questions, comment them below. I'll be sure to answer. Join my Jeep build by clicking that subscribe button. Join Team AdventureDex. As always, I'm AdventureDex. Don't forget, keep on Jeeping. The video is not over yet. If you watched this far, I really appreciate your support. And if you click that subscribe button, you're now entered to win these front and rear paracord grab handles by 550 grips. Father's Day is coming up, so get him a one of a kind Adventure Dex original set of grab handles. All you have to do is click that subscribe button to join the giveaway and leave a funny comment below and you'll have a chance to win this set. This is a way for me to be able to give back for you for all you've done to help grow this channel. I truly appreciate it. Thanks so much, stay tuned. I got a lot of exciting stuff to come. I'm AdventureDex, I'm out.